Thanks, Ben. So, yeah, I'm John Murphy. I'm creative director, director for BBC Sport. Um, firstly, I just want to apologise because I feel a little bit like I've gate crashed a wedding. Um, and, you know, obviously, if you gate crash a wedding, you probably get kicked out. So I'm going to be quite brief in case I get kicked out. So um, all it is, I just want to... So last year, I came to this event and we'd already decided that for... BBC Sport, we were going to do a project uh, for Match of the Day to be in a virtual studio. Um, and I came to this event and I got the real wow factor for what I was seeing, from what you know, people in this room were doing. Um, and you know, we, are at, we are nowhere near that stage yet. We are at the very beginning of the journey. But I just wanted to give you a brief overview of, kind of, of, of how we got there. So firstly, um, Three years ago, I was at IBC in Amsterdam, and we were looking at Match of the Day, uh, refreshing our actual physical set, looking at new LED technology. And um, it was there that uh, I saw um, on a stand that was uh, zero density, and they were using Unreal Engine. Um, and for the first time, we thought, wow, you know, we could actually do B you know, Match of the Day, BBC Sport programs from a virtual set and get the real kind of quality that you get, um, it, well, in the real world, real time. So that's firstly why we decided to do it. And then in terms of how we did it, so we, we have a, a situation that we work with different partners and suppliers. Um, and firstly, uh, Doc10, who are our studio provider, um, because we don't own our own studio. They, um, we talked with them about the technology, how we were going to do it, their VFX team. Um, we utilized them to actually implement the, the model and everything else into the, into the Unreal Engine. And also Alston Elliott, who are our kind of our live data driven graphics supplier. Um, they have done the development and the build of the, of the data driven graphics, live data driven graphics driven graphics in Unreal Engine. Uh, the obstacles and challenges for us on a project like this is firstly, you know, if anyone watches Match of the Day, you know, Gary Lineker, who's our main presenter, you know, if, if we're telling Gary Lineker he's got to sit in a green screen studio, uh, then we've got to make it look good. Um, the, another big obstacle for us is, again, we don't have our own studio, and also the studio that we're using, the green screen studio, is, is, is actually a set and strike. So we actually only had five weeks prior to going on air in August um, in that environment to test the work that we'd done through the camera. Um, and so that was a massive challenge for us. And the other thing for us as well also is, is just workflows. Um, it's going to get better and better, I'm sure, but as I say, in our industry and where I am at the moment, um, and BBC Sport, you know, we've obviously been very much, we've been used to a kind of very specific workflow in terms of running a live TX program, and um, this is just the challenges for this is, um, you know, we've been faced with them and obviously we're overcoming them, um, and it's going to get better, but that's been a big, a big learning curve. And just, you know, before I, I've got a movie to play at the end, which, which, um, which will explain a little bit more about the project itself, um, I think the future for us is what we see that, as I say, where we are now is very, you know, we are kind of miles behind in terms of development to where a lot of people in this room are. Um, and actually, uh, one of the, the other thing that, when I came to this last year, I was talking to some people in the room uh, architects who, who, you know, we were hoping to get involved in this project, but timescales didn't work out. But I see, when I look at on screen to some of the presentations so far, and what I remember from last year, and what architects are doing, you know, that, that, that detail and that kind of, that design, that is what, you know, that is what we want on screen, on our live TXs, and that's where we want to get to. So, for the future, we want to obviously progress, progress on where we are now, in terms of the football, but also we are just seeing it in terms of, you know, when we have to go and do events worldwide, um, you know, it could be Olympics, it could be World Cups, it could be whatever, you know, do we, in the future, you know, do we have to go to the, do we have to take all of our production teams to those, to those venues? Do we have to do, you know, it's, it would, it would be, 
you know, a massive leap, but I'm, I'm sure that eventually that's the sort of area that our, our kind of senior management would, would want us to look at. So, I mean, in terms of, as I say, for us, it's just a, it's brilliant to be at the start of it in terms of TV, um, and we just want to develop on top of that and, and, and see where it takes us. And I'll just play this video now for you. Look, it's green. We've had some big changes on Match of the Day because we're actually moving into a smaller studio, but in terms of the virtual world, it will actually look a lot larger. <laughs> now, it is very different to what we've done before because even though it looks incredibly new, if I click my fingers, this is what our world really looks like. It's uh, essentially a kingdom of green velvet. When we were looking at LED screens and everything else, we discovered a new technology, which is all from the gaming industry. For the first time, with the quality of keying and rendering, we thought Virtual Studio was a viability for us. And the, and the reason for that as well is that it gave us the opportunity to kind of have a different set between all the four football programmes. We're not all just sitting within one environment. This is a games engine. This, this is um, Unreal Engine. It's um, most famously used at the moment for Fortnite. Unreal Engine was born in the world of video games. Over the last few years, a whole host of other industries have started to use our real-time technology. The Match of the Day Virtual Studio represents a real cutting-edge technology, and they're pushing the envelope with this Virtual Studio. The Premier League is back for a new season. New stories, new faces, and a bit of a new look. Starting with the blank page that is a virtual studio and uh, all that can be done is a bit sort of daunting and it's taken us quite a while to work out how to turn a stadium into a studio. All of the programme directors have been working with the virtual designer on each of the models and working within lighting and making sure that every programme has its own distinctive brand. The ability to mould the world and have it change according to what's going on. So for example, monitor positions and screens and how they kind of appear and move around and, and don't have to be in shot so we can have a very vast studio design. And it looks at the moment as if I'm the only person in here, but if we flick our camera around, actually there, behind the velvet curtain, there's Sean filming us, filming him. In terms of presenters and guests, they have a hard set, so they've still got a real desk with real monitors inside, but then in terms of everything else, it's completely virtual. So all of the screens, that they aren't actually there, they're not seeing them. Um, so it's making sure that the eye lines are right for all of the presenters and guests and that they have some form of a monitor that, where they can see what we're actually transmitting. There is one sort of golden rule which we all have to obey, which is understandable really, you cannot wear green because as I can demonstrate with this lovely green cloth, if you do, you essentially disappear. The biggest thing with a virtual studio is that we can develop. Um, obviously from where we are now, the idea is just to develop and develop and develop on top of that. And then also at the end of each season, then we have the ability to kind of give the sets another refresh rather than just having to be based in the, you know, the same set for five, six years. I think it would be crazy not to take advantage of you know, the fact you can update things. We would likely see a lot more progression, some more ideas coming to play. I think that's, it's exciting. Thank you for enjoying our little tour round and we will see you throughout the season. From BBC Sport, goodbye. So anyway, uh, as I say, just wanted to give a thank you for inviting me to talk, as I say, in a, in a, in a completely different um, environment, but hopefully it was just a brief overview of, of where we're trying to get to in, in TV using Unreal Engine.